Uh, good evening, everyone, and welcome to this uh, presentation. I would like to present to you today the, the work done in the Adra University by Abdi Halim and Abdi Maiz and Sheradi under the title of Arabic Anwakora Annotated Corpus, which is a uh, linguistic resources resource that holds the links between Anwakora and its uh, reference for both pronominal and verbal Anwakora. Moving next, this is the overview of this uh, presentation. I've uh, divided my presentation into six main uh, parts, and they are structured as uh, follows. First, which is the introduction section that provides a um, brief definition about the anapora and the tackle types. Uh, secondly, the problem resolved and the objective of this uh, work with some uh, challenges, of course. Uh, after that, the methodology section where um, I'm going to present the workflow or the pipeline to construct the uh, used or applied to construct this type of uh, linguistic resource. The fourth section provides results about the tools used um, in terms of performance in the anaphora resolution problem or task. Before uh, ending, which is the fifth section, I will present some statistics values about the final uh, corpus. And finally, like usual, a conclusion uh, section that resume the, uh, the work and, the pro and uh, propose a vision for the future plans, uh, starting with uh, introduction. As known in the linguistic domain or literature, and for resolution is um, a very challenging uh, task and especially for the Semitic language, such as the Arabic uh, language. The aim of uh, tackling this type of uh, problem, because it's uh, several application needs uh, a proper uh, anaphora resolution and, of course, identification in order to understand uh, the text, and especially for the discourse uh, analysis, it's uh, crucial to know the relation between the locutors and the segments in the uh, discourse. So uh, our work revolves around, around creating a tool that will help us to uh, conduct our uh, objective, which is uh, the creation of the corpus that handle or uh, contain the links between uh, anaphora and uh, their suitable uh, referent in the Arabic uh, text. Moving on, uh, we will um, give a brief present or definition or presentation for the anaphora. So uh, anaphora is a linguistic uh, relation between the two textual uh, entities. It's defined when a textual entity, which is the anaphora, refers to another entity of the text, which is usually occur uh, before. So usually occur before and not all the times occur before because there are some types of anaphora where the uh, uh, previous entity or the reference occur uh, after uh, uh, them. As illustrated in this, uh, in this uh, example, we see the, the anaphora, which is its, or in the Arabic, ha, and it's a suitable reference, which is the tree. And we may found in place of anaphora, we, we, we find the term of co-reference. Moving on, the, there are, uh, different types of uh, anaphora. I will talk just on the types that we uh, tackled or we studied before, starting with the first uh, anaphora type, which is the pronominal, which contain or which uh, subdivide in three types, which is the relative pronoun, uh, which is always anaphoric and um, generally indicating the previous uh, noun phrase, uh, as illustrated in the first example. Secondly, the personal uh, pronoun, which is the most frequent one in the Arabic text, which is uh, and um, can find isolated, uh, as illustrated in the second uh, example, or attached to another uh, word as a suffix. The final uh, the type is the demonstrative pronoun, or uh, sometimes play as anaphora and sometimes play as cataphora. The brief definition of catapora is that is that the reference occur after the the item. 
and in general used to point to something specific within a sentence as illustrated in the third example. Moving to the second type of uh, anaphora, which is the verbal one. Verbal anaphora is characterized by the use of the verbal of the verb um, did as illustrated in the in the in the example uh, in the screen. So the the um, the anaphora uh, tagged in this work are the pronominal ones and the verbal. Till this uh, time, there are no um, work on the second type, which is the verbal. So this work is the first work on the verbal uh, anaphora type. Moving on to the second section, which provides some uh, challenges and the problem tag. Here, as we can uh, see, there are several uh, challenges that um, uh, occur when uh, dealing with uh, Arabic anaphora resolution. The first uh, one is the Arabic morphology that uh, can be quite difficult for the analysis. Um, like in our case, the anaphora, which could be attached or detached from the word as mentioned before in the pronominal ones. Second is the complexity of sentence, which uh, means that a number of words can combine in just one or can name it uh, agglutination. The third uh, challenge is the phenomenon of no vowels uh, words in Arabic lang language, of course, can lead to an ambiguity in the resolution uh, approach or process. The last one is the big leg of uh, Arabic annotated uh, corpus where we, we contribute in resolving this challenge in the Arabic anaphora to help the other uh, researchers to adapt their deep learning uh, or machine learning model in this type of work. So the idea behind annotating resources is help the evaluation and the training system, as I said before. So the annotation may be difficult due to the huge amount of text and the anaphora diversity, of course. So to um, resolve this uh, problem and avoid those uh, challenges, so we build a pipeline or a, a tool that can help us to automatically resolve and construct our corpus and reduce the time uh, consuming and uh, human effort. Moving to the third section, which will uh, present or illustrate the pipeline or the phases adapted to construct this type of corpus. So the first, um, the first uh, phase is the pre-processing phase and next the output of this phase feed to the next phase which is the processing uh, phase and the last one which is the verification phase by an expert in the Arabic language in order to give a credibility to our uh, to our uh, corpus. Starting with the pre-processing uh, phase, so uh, this module or for this module we developed a crawler, crawler system that takes as an input the URL of the uh, category uh, page that contain a text and the limited number of uh, articles, then returns as an um, output a clean text file in TXT format. The texts are taken from the Ariad newspaper, which is a daily Arabic newspaper, and they are divided into five uh, categories. So the reason behind choosing this type of uh, newspaper is due to the large amount of text and the good structure of uh, categories in this uh, platform or in this newspaper. Uh, the next step in the pre-processing phase contains the uh, tokenization and uh, uh, formatting the text and uh, part of speech tagger uh, module. So the first step is to break each text file into sentences using a sentence splitter or segmenter mechanism based on the punctuations. Secondly, organizing these um, sentences in a specific input structure uh, to prepare them for the part of speech and morphological uh, analysis. And the, finally, the final uh, step or module is to determine which category, grammatical uh, category 
a given word belong to and other morphological features that are used in the processing phase, which are the gender, number, and the state, and uh, finally the voice feature. In the part of speech uh, module, we use the Madamira uh, tool. Moving on to the processing uh, phase, so we have two main modules in order to detect the anaphora and its con candidate or referent. Anaphora identification module focuses on identifying the anaphora by referring to uh, the grammatical uh, code, which is based on the Madamira tax set, of course. The output here is um, a list of um, uh, all anaphora in the text with additional information like uh, ID, name, gender, number, and uh, what I forget, oh, also the sentence uh, number. So the second module, which is the candidate identification module, which is uh, all the reference for each um, uh, anaphora are uh, chosen based on their part of speech tag, such as noun, noun, phrase, or uh, proper noun. And a specific search uh, scope is adjusted based on some tested and tested, tested and uh, previous research. So, so for uh, the search scope used here, we used two sentences before the anaphora, so we collected all the um, known phrases uh, appeared before the anaphora. This is an example of the uh, interface of our uh, tool. The right uh, screen shows the, um, the anaphoras exist on the, on the text, and the left, uh, yes, the right, um, is the pronominal anaphora, and the left uh, present the verbal um, anaphora. In the verbal anaphora, there is no indication said that this verb is uh, play or um, appears as an anaphora. So we will uh, collect all verbs exist in the text and be validated by the expert in the last step. So the uh, processing uh, phase, which is the last um, module, will concentrate on the uh, finding the suitable referent for each uh, anaphora from the candidate uh, gathered. So we use a collection of preferential factors that favor um, uh, some candidate over other, as illustrated in this uh, tables, table. So each rule has a score that is fixed um, after a series of experiments, which means uh, we use here a, a manual uh, fine tuning, of course. And each candidate was a given was given a score for each rule, and the one with the highest overall score was recommended as the best reference. So we use the uh, accumulation or sum of the score for each uh, rule for each reference, and the reference with the high, highest score considered the candidate with the highest uh, score recommended as the uh, best reference. As you can see here in the interface of the tool, the red uh, word, which is the anaphora, and the green word, which is the, um, the best referent, and the uh, superscript number, which is the ID for each uh, anaphora and uh, the, the referent. Moving on, the last um, step or phase for our uh, tool it is the uh, the verification phase, which uh, has the aim uh, to verify and annotate the text document along with the features uh, like gender, number, type, and part of speech. So in the corpus, you will find the uh, reference and the anaphora and uh, some features like gender, number, type, and the part of speech for each of the uh, referent and uh, uh, pair of reference and uh, anaphora and the scheme used here is this, the XML uh, scheme. So moving to section four, which will uh, illustrate the tool evaluation. There are no a lot of there is no uh, lot of works or data set in the anaphora uh, resolution. There is just uh, the anatar and other for the Quran, which are different uh, type of text 
The anatar is a corpus that contains pairs of anaphor and referent, but just the pronomen, not the verbal. So for the verbal, we do it um, manually. So as I said, we use the anatar uh, corpora for the evaluation. And uh, we use the standard accuracy metric to uh, calculate the efficiency as illustrated in the table uh, three. So we were unaware of any prior works uh, on the verbal anaphora. So we tested um, our work by taking the help of the linguistic specialist and utilizing the same uh, corpora. And those are the results and are not uh, very good, especially for the verbal because there are affected by some uh, some uh, challenges, such as the choice of the search scope was not good, which we, we, uh, we choose the search scope of two sentences and is known in the anaphora that the reference may be appeared uh, before the, uh, uh, the reference, yeah, maybe appeared before the, ref the anaphora with um, multiple of sentences also the voice uh, features feature cannot help as much to resolve the verb and also we face some uh, morphological problems or morphosyntactic uh, problem to identify the noun phrase and the other uh, tag set so there are a problem with uh, using madame Mira here moving on we will present um, uh, statistics about the corpus. As mentioned here, there are five uh, categories for each uh, category. We find the possessive and demonstrative relative pronoun, which are subtypes of the pronoun, uh, pronominal uh, type. And also for the verb, the same thing and the same uh, categories. Moving on, the last or before ending, this is um, a, a brief uh, demo or prototype demo for the, the tool. This is the input uh, route text, which is the original text input feed to the system. The second uh, process is um, sentence segmentation or tokenization uh, in sentence level and uh, passing through the Madamira part of speech uh, tagging to, uh, uh, to find the part of speech for each word and other morpho features as illustrated here. And then the expert verification and the correction. In the right, we find the pairs of uh, anaphora and its uh, referent. And in the, last, uh, in the left uh, space, we find the annotation used. As I said, we use the XML. For the anaphora, we use the anaphor uh, tag. And for the uh, reference, we use the antecedent tag by injecting other uh, features or morphological features. And finally, the conclusion, as we mentioned before, this uh, present uh, work will make a contribution in the field of linguistic resources. resources for anaphora in the Arabic language. And with the help of the expert, we are sure that the corpus will be very useful because the, uh, the expert gives the corpus uh, a credibility to use in the future. For the perspective or the future, our future vision will concentrate on the amelioration of the verbal resolution mechanism by using state-of-the-art tools such as the transfer learning uh, existing models, in, especially in the Arabic, uh, the Arabic, uh, Arbert, and methods in computational linguistic and some rule-based, of course, and at the same time increase the size of the corpus and maybe by the end of this year the tool will be available for the community. We arrived to the last slide, so thank you for your attention, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Thank you.